Oh my, oh my gosh. It's here. It's here, but are they, are they out? Are they hatched? Welcome back to a new video. Today we are back in the island of Sulani, which by the way, I've turned down some of my preset shaders. It won't be quite as crazy for you guys, but like legit, it does look, it looks real nice. It looks real nice being all beautiful and shady. I'll show you up close even more. <laughs> I'm like, I know what you're doing down there. Please stop walking on what you are not Jesus Christ reincarnate. But anyway, we are back with some island living. Uh, we've had some time pass between the la- oh, Stop doing that, seriously. Seriously, you weren't doing that just a minute ago. This is the most annoying glitch on earth. Like, it is so annoying. But anyway, yeah, we've, we've had some time pass between the two episodes. Sage is currently at work now. Ari has been kind of hiding away, doing whatever it is that mermaids do while they're hiding away. Probably a lot of swimming around and chit chatting with fish and riding like on dolphins fins. I imagine that's kind of a thing that they do as well. Hi Akira, Akira literally is sneaking up and having a little peek there. I also just realized in the last episode that Macy and Akira being like around and checking in isn't just on Ari, it was obviously also gonna be on Sage as well because Sage basically was raised by um, come on Claire, what is wrong with your stupid brain? Because Sage was basically raised by, but raised by Macy as well so I thought that was actually really really cute but yeah um Ari's been staying away. She obviously had the huge argument with Sage about dolphin- uh, about dolphins. Stop calling the mermaids dolphins. I would do if they started behaving like mermaids. Yeah, she had the big huge argument. Um, oh wow. Never thought to do this before. I don't know how. With Ari about uh, mermaids and how Ari turned into one and how it's really bad and like she didn't quite understand what she was doing. We are walking on water. This is literally how Jesus himself felt. But yeah, they had an argument. She ran away from home. She had a first kiss with Yuda. Uh, Sage is currently at work at the moment but I kind of feel like Ari's managed to blow off a little bit of steam. She's in a bit of a better headspace now and also I realized as I got back to this episode she's also only gone ahead and aged up into a young adult with Child of the Ocean music lover. Um, Oh wow okay. Good manners, loves family orientated sims, creatively talented, home, home turf, but also hates chubby sims. I didn't even know that was a thing. Like I can understand having preferences for how you might want your partner to love. But hating chubby sims is like a whole nother level of shade and it's just like wow Ari I hope those opinions chill out a little bit as you get older please. But yeah I think when Sage gets home from work Sage is feeling pretty sad. We are gonna go ahead and cheer her back up because Ari, Ari is gonna return home. She's gonna apologize and I think Sage is probably gonna apologize to her. They're probably gonna hug each other like the little sisters that they are with each other and just all round cuteness will prevail as it often does on my series. This is a wholesome series, okay? Yeah, Sage has realized that the mermaids all of, all this time, the mermen and women of the series were actually trying to help save the island in the same way that Sage was. We've also restored uh, Solani's conservation to level three, which means there should be a turtle hatching event. However, I have no real way of knowing when the turtle hatching event is meant to start, which is super, super frustrating. I don't know what job to give Ari for now. I know that she can like do odds and ends jobs but I don't really know how I've been dumb because I don't know how to do that I don't know how to give her like because you can like be a fisherman and stuff can't you should I figure it out okay why is there just a woman in her house <laughs> I forgot that here people just kind of flick in don't they just be like oh I'll help you out. Okay we could become a fast food employee, a diver, retail employee, manual labor or a lifeguard. Now fi or a fisherman. Fisherman is going to be an absolute massive no-no because Yuda was a fisherman. He um ended up probably potentially it was him. He's never really told us a full story but he ended up harboring a mermaid um, with his fishing net and his boat which we now know of course was one of our mermaid friendos and as a result he now sabotages the fisherman. I think turning around to new potential romantic interest who we just kissed being like oh by the way you know the folk you kill well you don't he doesn't kill them you know the folk who you hate and you used to be 
guess he's just kind of jumped down at the docks. Let's not do that. I'm kind of vibing either she'd make a really good lifeguard or she'd make a really good diver. I'm kind of tempted for now to put her on the diver because she's a mermaid. Like, I'm pretty sure mermaids can even breathe underwater based on some law. So yeah, she's gonna start doing a little bit of mermaid uh, diving as a mermaid, which I think is a pretty awesome like little skill set. I'm still struggling to get, I still can't get her a suntan. Right, somebody literally linked me a mod to this, Claire. Stop being so dumb. Go check check that mod. Okay, <laughs> I've downloaded something called The Sims 4 Skin Tone Converter. It's too cloudy for sunbathing. No, I, I will be testing mine. Get it, get in the water. I want to test that sunburn because that just took me ages. If you guys are wondering, oh, come here for one hot sec. I don't know if you've lost your skin tone. The skin tones I was using, I thought I was using melanin, but I actually think I was using a Pixis stuck on you skin tone. So, oh, hey, mermaid form. I'm hoping that has been sorted now. Let me double check what skin tone she's currently got. On. She doesn't even have a, uh, a different skin tone on at the moment, but I just want to see if she gets um, a skin tone, a sun tan. So I'm just going to leave it at this for now. I'm hoping that this has worked. I'll get her to clear the skies and then we'll try and do a sunbathe. And while she's sunbathing, I could do my five peacheroonies who bought the merch of the day, which is all I wanted to do. This has taken me 23 minutes just to sort out those skin tones. Please do a magical mermaid power. Mermaid, call clear skies. There you go. Get out that little conk. Oh, by the by the way, by the way, by the way, while she was away, I've realized I've just kind of not addressed this. Well, okay, oh, and I guess I never will. Fine, whatevs, whatevs. Um, but Ari has gone for a change in her hair as well. Kind of a bit of a coming of age type thing. She is an adult now. She, she's a young adult. She's not a teenager anymore. She was away from a few days from home and she's like, you know what? I'm going to cut it a fringe. We've all done it. We've all been there. Luckily for Ari, hers looks great and it doesn't look the way that it usually looks for me when I try and cut a fringe in, which is an absolute disaster. So we'll just wait for those uh, clouds to clear. I'll show you a fringe in the meantime because it looking beautiful. Here we go. I'm kind of in the PC <laughs> trying to show you, but look. Okay, she looks a little bit scary from that direction. But the fringe is looking pretty. She really suits a fringe. That's looking sunny to me. Yes. Okay, sunbathe in your swimwear. If it doesn't let me apply sun tan lotion, I'm going to scream because that means it'll never work. I, I don't care if she burns at this point, just so I can at least test if it works. Okay, okay. I spent ages trying to fix it. I'm not sunburned. Please stop trying to... The thing is, I can right hand click on this and cheat it up. But I really didn't want to have to do that. But at this point, like, she's even got a paler skin tone on. Just because... Uh, but whatever. We'll see if she burns. If she, I don't care if she burns at this point. Like, I want something to happen with her being in the sun. So you do you. I'm gonna do our top five feature Rudies of the day. So all of these guys have bought Clash of On merch. If you guys want to be included in this beautiful little tag fest, then please tag both with myself and the Callier Club on Twitter or on Instagram, Sage Butler, uh, not Sage, Ari Butt. Stop getting these guys confused, Claire. Uh, if you tag us both on Instagram and Twitter, try and tag both of us to make sure we see it. We're like gathering loads of you guys together. Please don't get angry or upset if you haven't been featured yet. It is literally just because we've got a lot of people to get through. So here are today's uh, beautiful little peachy all stars. We've got D to C and D in a peachy hoodie looking awesome there. We've got Nani0110 in uh, the peachy Rooney t shirt there. Love that hair so much. We've got Shiny Umbreon55 and her awesome dog. Also, awesome choice for a username. Shiny, Shiny Umbreon is a particularly cool one. Uh, we've got Asta Pitts in her hoodie as well, looking absolutely awesome. And we've got Claire Stanex in her Claire Siobhan Peach Boonies Peach Squad hoodie as well. So, thank you guys all so much for supporting the channel with your merch. Princess is getting involved in the sunbathing if you guys were interested. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Thank you for tagging me and sending in your pictures. You guys are amazing. And with that, let's get back into today's episode. So I'm kind of intrigued as to just how involved with the sunbathing like princess is gonna get. I do like this though. This is cute. I don't know if our cats would actually do this. I find that our cats, because they're so big and fluffy, they're not actually huge fans of the sun. They're they're kind of a little bit more happy um, just sort of being near you, but in the shade. That is their vibe. And wow, we just got, I mean, is our, is our house just open field? at this point who is this person she's kind of cool looking but like why are you in my house oh <gasps> you're a mermaid 
Oh my gosh, did you see her teeth? Oh my gosh. I know one way to find out. She's got- Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you the evil mermaid? Are you the evil one? Uh, I can't tell. I don't think she is. But she's got- she, She's got the teeth. She's got the teeth. So, I mean, she can't be that evil because she's taking her trash out for us. Let's just like say hi and then be like, oh, let's go for a dip. And at that point, is she burnt yet, by the way? Because if she ain't burnt, I'm going to be mad. No, she ain't burnt. You know what? Boom. Milestone complete, okay? I can't get a tan. Find things beach combing, grill barbecue, or roast food. We can do those things. That's fine. So we're going to introduce ourselves to potential scary mermaid. There definitely seems to be some kind of bring Ari to the dark side collective that I'm noticing with the mermaids. The darker, spookier, kind of like more siren based mermaids definitely are keen. They're definitely... What? Sage, you've been promoted to a conservation director. That's conservation director. That sounds so big and important. But yeah, let's see if she turns into a mermaid or whether she is just a human that has unfortunately had to have the siren's teeth. I mean, wow. Oh, babes, you just got unlucky. You ain't even a mermaid and you got those chompers. Oh, wow. Please don't try and bite your nails, okay? So let's check out Sage Rooney's new job. She's come home feeling stressed and she's like, look at her, bless her. She's like worried and sad. She's like, Ari's still not home. I've got a pimple on my nose because my stress levels are making me get spots, which totally happens and it's really annoying. But her new job is... You've watched every nature documentary out there. You know just how much the planet is in danger. From educating the public to performing research expeditions. You really want some... You truly want to make a difference. Change what happened overnight, but keep at it and hard work can lead to a thriving ecosystem. Well, Sage of everybody already knows that because she has helped this Sulani ecosystem thrive. And I think it's time to go and surprise her. With our returning home, I think they both need to kind of hash out their differences, but honestly, I feel like these two girls will be back to being good friendos before we know it. Sisters, I see them as almost like a sisterly bond. We need to not get involved in our bond. Lanani, Lanani with your strange teeth. Uh, please stop trying to get involved, okay? So I feel like it'll be a lot of uh, Sage, I'm home and Sage be like, oh my gosh, you worried me so much, girl. What were you doing? Get in here and have another hug. You worried me so much. Where did you go? I was literally so close to ringing Connor, but I know he's Lenani. You need to not, babes. You just need to know. I was so close to ringing Connor, and he's there with Seb. I didn't want to stress out my father when he's got all this already going on. And Ari is like, I know, I know, I know. I just, I just ran away like in, like I was just overwhelmed with emotions. But I'm so sorry for stressing you out. Please leave. Can we just ask, ask Strange Teeth Girl that she needs to go? Please go away. Please, please. Please go away. You are cleaning her house for us. So yeah, she'd be like, despite the fact that you absolutely scared the bejesus out of me, I'm so glad you're home. I was so wrong to kick off. I honestly realized I knew nothing about mermaids and everything that they were doing to help this island. I, I hope you know what you've gotten yourself into, but I'm not gonna like be on your back anymore. I'm gonna like leave you to figure this stuff out on your own. And look at you with your new friend. Look at you with your little cute friend. You looking like such a grown up now. I can't tell you what to do anymore uh you'll always be my little sister but i'm gonna learn to respect what you want and if this new guy is so important to you then you should invite him around i would like to meet him whilst that was going on i got the extra food notification and yep you guessed it the town is like these guys are poor again. You uh, you need some food. So let's invite the neighbors in. I'm sort of secretly hoping that Makoa might come round because now that Sage has saved the island, uh... And now that she has kind of reached a stage in her career where she's more of like a, a management type role, I'm sort of vibing that maybe her work directly on the island is sort of starting to come to an end. Okay, so they thought we could use some food. Yeah, people be always worrying about how little we've got to eat. I also think that this is Makoa's wife, so yeah. Makoa's probably gonna be popping around as well. Oh, there he is. I knew he'd be around. He was just doing a little bit of snorkeling first. When you're old enough to prepare some carver now, Ari. Yeah, so I feel like now that she's restored the island and she's in this management role and she does like a lot of her conservation on the pc now does she need to be on the island as much and if she doesn't then i guess she needs to kind of say goodbye to like some of her conservation friends and go back to like 
her life fucking, um, where did they live? Brindleson Bay with Jace? However, she does seem to me to be a little bit worried and stressed about the whole idea of leaving Solani and going back to her life. It would be hard. It would be really hard to do that after you've been here for a while. Because, I mean, look at this place. It's so freaking pretty. So little Ari is cooked, uh, cooked? Prepared her first ever little Carver. Carver? No, that's not what Carver. It is Carver. But it's like, Carver is like the, the like, Spanish version of champagne, isn't it? I don't like it very much. Hopefully this stuff is a little bit nice. Uh, and I guess Sage just has to try and like enjoy as much island stuff as she can. Oh my gosh, babes, you need to chill. You look in stressed right now. Ooh, interesting. Makoa and his wife chosen to completely drink in a separate room. Okay, I don't know if there was some words going on there, whether she was like, look, like we need to make a big show of being a united front in front of Sage because I feel like that girl has an eye on you. Let's hug and drink together. However, oh wow, he's struggling a bit with his skin as well. I changed up his hair, by the way. We know that it's actually. Actually, Makoa that has his eye on Sage because he definitely tries to do a flirt with her although she, I feel like she definitely noticed that and she wasn't best pleased by what she saw either so Tvez into her son. I would like to get poor little Sage. Can I get her like a skincare thing? Yeah I can get her to get weekly treatments for her skincare now so that should help out. Oh his wife just left. Ooh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Makoa is feeling lust as well. Look at this. He is literally feeling lust. Okay. We just need to be careful here. Oh, you're feeling dazed. Oh, you've just got a cry, baby. Just having a cry about a cry. Okay, I see how it is. So everyone's still partying away in here. Ari has two. Two of the Carver drinks, I'm noticing. You're already just a young adult. Be careful there, young lady, okay? These two have kind of ended up outside chit-chatting together on their own. The stage being kind of like, Solana's amazing. Like, I've really enjoyed it here. I want to kind of toast this island and how amazing it has been. But kind of also saying that, like, my, I wish, <laughs> I wish the poor guy, I feel like they've sort of spread a little bit of their sports to each other, bless them. But yeah, the, the the reason I wanted to talk to you is I kind of don't feel like I need to stay on this island to do my conservation work anymore. I can do it from wherever I am in the world. And also, like, I have stuff waiting for me at home. There's nothing really tying me here, if you understand me. Like, I feel like it's time for me to go back home to my family and my commitments that I have there. As much as I've really enjoyed, like, saving this island together and it's meant so much to me. Oh my gosh, she's poor skin! I just want to, like, pull off little little creams on him so badly. She's like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not going to be here for much longer. So, yeah. He's like, okay, before you go, we have to see the turtles. And I better be able to see the turtles. So we'll be keeping an eye out for those. He's like, look, call off work tomorrow. We'll we'll try and see the turtles. Take yourself a vacay day. Wait, why can't she take a vacay day? I have four days available. Let me have my vacation. The f I'm going to try and call him fake sick from work, even though the I'll probably sound drunk on the phone. But we're going to do it regardless. Regardless, just so that we can try and see the turtles tomorrow because I'm pretty desperate to go and see them Sorry to hear that feel better soon. Yes, my lies worked So yeah, we're gonna go ahead get some sleep so we can try and see the turtles Ko is gonna try bring us there and wow there is a lot of this stuff here to clean up Ooh, You need to purchase the knife from the diving boy Uh, Is that the stall right here? Ooh, how do I get the knife? Uh, is it this? That's beach supplies. Where is the diving boy? Wait, a boy! Oh my gosh, I'm thinking of totally the wrong thing. Is that? The boy is the thing in the ocean, isn't it? It's not like boy. It's not like small boy. It's like boy boy. I want to see the turtles. I might have to bring her like over to where the deep, deep sea is and try- Ooh, carver root. I need that for my carver, don't I? Oh man, I forgot that we don't have much money. I might have to go and do a quick travel to get that. So let's go ahead and do a travel. Ooh, what about the perfect time to uh, bundle in a visit with Yuda. Yuda is sleeping. Yuda, you absolute bore. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's apparent a diving boy is red. That's just a snorkeling boy. Is that a diving boy? <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. I can also free dive there because I am Le Merm, So that should be fine. Oh, this is not the fastest way to get there, babes. Like, no, this, this just ain't the fastest way, but fine. Whatever. We're going to run to our little diving boy. You guys said also that I can kiss. I can kiss underwater. So I'm definitely going to be trying to do that. And am I free? Is she free diving now? Oh, I can't. I can't view it while she's free diving. Okay, annoying. I'm free diving here, being amazing, and you're just gonna be awake soon. So I feel like even though we were here before, I wanna try the this 
in the water kiss. Because you guys said I can do it, so I want to be able to do it. <gasps> yes, Yuda will be right over. Okay, Yuda, I'm kind of far. Okay, it's here, it's here. It's full on mermaid time together. The best kind of time. And you guys say... You guys say that I can do a kiss. So I'm kind of intrigued. We're just doing fun little splishy splashies in the water together. Oh wow, she's in a flirty mood already. <laughs> Look how cute he looks popping around in the water. Ain't this just the cutest thing? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so freaking adorable. Okay, let's try and do- Who's this person? Oh, no, yes. Lil Annie, you're not even a mermaid. You just want to be with your stupid teeth. Am I just being stupid? Where is where is the option to do an, a water kiss? I just want a water oh, kiss. Oh. I can blow a kiss at him. Oh, no, where am I? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, I splashed him with my tail. Yeah, I forgot that I do that. Okay, hold on for a hot sec. I don't want to miss the turtle hatching event. Just because you guys are so cute. Look, I don't get the option to kiss. There is no kiss option there. The one thing I can do is... No, I don't want to do that. I think I can do a mermaid's kiss. No, I can't even do that. I don't know. I can't do it unless I can do one of these. Can you guys do a romantic hug? Will you just sink if that happens? Oh, oh yeah, they're going back to shore. I can't do it, guys. There's no option to do a mermaid kiss unless you're on land, which doesn't make any sense to me. And yeah, we can do that mermaid kiss. But that is it. That is it. That is literally everything we can do. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Blow me a first person kiss. That is... Okay, you need we, don't you? Wow, okay. Okay, sorry. I know this makes you guys feel a little bit sick. But it's nice to see Sims in first person sometimes. Okay, back to stage. I don't want to miss this turtle hatching event, okay? Ah! Like, the last time I was in another series, it said... Where would it even be, though? Surely it'd be on here. It said that the turtle hatching event had started, so I'm just gonna go there and see if it has. Like, I know I've kind of turned up on your house, but I'm actually not here to see you guys. I'm here to see turtles, like, where they are. Maybe I should have just dropped everything and gone to it that time when I got the notification for it. Maybe I've just gone ahead and... <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. It's here. It's here, but are they, are they out? Are they hatched? <gasps> oh! Oh my god, sorry, I just picked the mic so hard. Get here right now! Go, go, go! We're gonna miss them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking cute. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, so I hate to go back talking about Bali again. When Ali and I were in Bali, we were in um, like a beach club on an evening called The Lawn, I think it was called. And suddenly everyone started running onto the beach. We actually literally begged security. I'm like, I will come back to your establishment. Just please let me get onto the beach. Finally, they let us on there and a turtle had swum up the shore. And at first people were thought the turtle wanted to get back. So people were picking it up and like turning it and like trying to push it back into the ocean because it was right next to a bar. Oh my God, how are you not here yet? Run faster, you fools! Go, go, go! Yes, people are coming. Akira's on it. Akira knows. I'm going to change you out that ridiculous outfit, Makoa, because just, just, just no. Just straight up no. How are you supposed to see the baby turtles with your goggles on? Oh my oh gosh, my look God. at us cheering on the turtles. Well, this is just, oh, look at this guy surveying it. Oh, I think we could survey it as well. <gasps> look at them. Oh, they're going to the sea. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to get both of you right over here. Okay. Look at them though. He said they'd be here today and they were. But anyway, yeah, this turtle was like trying so hard to get up the shore. And it was like honestly like nearly dying trying to get up there. It looks so hard. Because obviously they're so big and heavy and like, oh, he's okay. He's literally taking helping them into the sea to the next level. Oh no, he's cheering them on. He's cheering them on now. He's watching them. That's really cute. So anyway, um, yeah, the little turtle, the turtle came up. It finally got to the top and it started digging a hole and then it was laying its eggs. We literally got to see a huge mama bear turtle laying her eggs and it was one of the most amazing things that i've ever seen people are getting hyped people are so excited for this this is so freaking cute the little baby turtles she's surveying it this person's taking photographs this is like literally so amazing this person's pregnant your, your babies these babies 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 everywhere i just thought i'd check it with oh yeah definitely a more beautiful sunset with my new i've taken off ambient you guys said that ambient light ambient light might have been a bit much yeah i can kind of see that. I like it. I personally prefer it, but I can understand why you wouldn't. 
So I've got it off for now. And yeah, oh my gosh, the butterflies have literally come to join us as well. This is so nice. What a nice, amazing way to like say goodbye to Solani with some beautiful little baby turtles. Look at their little footprints in the sand. How freaking cute are they? Oh my gosh, babies, babies, absolute little babies. That's it, you go into the ocean, little cutie pie. Little turtle, my little turtles, so freaking cute. Okay, this has been amazing. I wish I could have got the whole conservation gang out here, but it was kind of a private moment. And why don't we have like a final nice little swim, swim in the ocean together? Seb, I ain't going to the lounge, babe. There's baby turtles here. Even you and your little scrummy leg couldn't bring me away from them. Oh wow, doesn't take a mermaid to walk on the water. Apparently, anyone can do it. Hey Sage, it's my birthday party. No Braylon, no okay. So I I'm doing this more this episode. I don't know why I've only just suddenly remembered I could do this. Let's Maybe since I put the reshader on. But Sage's eyelashes oh. messing with this hard. <laughs> They're yeah. kind of just enjoying um <laughs> ooh, I did spend a tree fish. A final night on Solani together. <laughs> it is the um, luminescent plankton. Is it plankton? Plankton, I think it is. Which, as we know, is a little bit of a romantic sort of vibes. Two of them just kind of like chit chatting and. I don't know. Oh, wow. You want to hug someone? Okay, you can hug. Sort of Sage saying that I'm going to miss this place so much. There's nowhere really quite like this place. And obviously, I'm going to miss you lots too. I thought I'd get my new style pack, but this seems to be the standard one, which is a little bit of a shame because I would have liked to get a nice new pack, uh, the nice new stars for you guys. We've got butterflies around us. The two of them just having a little star game, just looking around at Solani, how beautiful it is, and Sage thinking about how she's gonna miss it, but also how she's gonna miss Makoa's company as well. And somewhere along the line, the star gaze in turns a little bit romantic between the two of them. I think they always kind of had the spark and maybe like Sage kind of pushed it off and denied it but in the moment where you don't know whether you're ever gonna see each other again it's kind of like a goodbye. Maybe guards are a little bit down compared to how they usually are and the two of them just kind of in their heads saying like I don't know, like, when, when, when all we're doing is cuddling, like, it's not anything more than that, even though they both have respective partners at home. I feel so bad doing this. I don't like, I, get, I feel uncomfortable doing these storylines, but this stuff does happen in real life. And like, also, I think just because your emotions get the ha like ahead of you sometimes, and you do things that you wouldn't normally do, it doesn't necessarily make you a bad person. It just means that you've done something bad in this moment. Gosh, got a little heart in the sky for that. Wow, okay. Okay, now she's feeling flirty from passion under the stars. In fact, she's feeling very flirty. She could choose to do a sexy pose. All gush about her partner, Jace. Oh, I'm kind of vibing that. Oh my gosh, he's flirty as well. Look at his face. He is too. There's an action that you can do as well that I've just realized called play in the waterfall together. I have no idea what it is, but they're kind of there doing it, which is sort of adorable. That is such a cute interaction. I did not realize you could do that. Why does he need to snorkel on at all times? I don't know. It actually stresses me out. I'm not sure what else you can do in that waterfall, but I think they're both definitely getting a little bit swept up in things now. They've definitely kind of got a little bit swept. How do you do you when he's got a snorkel mask on? I don't understand a little bit, but... They've got swept up in the emotion. Kisses have been done. Oh my gosh, you can't ask him to be your boyfriend. You literally already have one. <gasps> oh my gosh, they can woohoo in the waterfall. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know you could do this. Oh my god, no, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Are they actually gonna do waterfall woohoos? How does he even... <gasps> okay, okay. Yeah, is it gonna be the butt slap thing again? Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, that's actually... So oh, that's actually so cute and romantic! It's a Hawaiian-based woo-woo song! Oh my gosh! All right, deal with yourself, babes. Okay. Okay, waterfall woo-woos happened. Waterfall woo-woos were a thing that happened in this episode. We saw waterfall woo-woos. I mean, wow. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, yeah, my curiosity kind of got the better of me. And as a result, wow, okay. The, he looks very happy with himself. Very happy with himself. <gasps> but then maybe feeling the dread of, you've got a wife at home? Sage has got a boyfriend. But, oh, my, what are you doing now? <laughs> what are you guys doing now? I thought, oh my gosh, very flirty, waterfall escapades, a private moment in nature's uh, majest maj majest maj maj majesty has only multiplied Sage's mood. I find that a hard word to say. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am gonna send Sage home after those waterfall escapades. I'm not going for a swim, Makoa. I'm sorry. How come my mermaid can't even kiss in the water? But my humans could woo woo in a waterfall. What is the deal with that? Oh, wow. Okay, this is awkward. I feel like in this game as well, you can get called out on cheating. If not, I need to download the mod to do it because clearly that's going to be a new storyline. Ari is up cooking at 3 a.m. in the morning. And I'm going to send Sage to bed. Full of lust right now, but no doubt full of regret and shock when she wakes up tomorrow and remembers what she's done. She still plans on leaving Solana leaving Makoa it was just a very passionate goodbye let's just hope she's not about to leave Solani with something more than just memories so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Island Living if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up I think um, Sage is probably going to get ready to pack up and go in the next episode but for Ari she's a young adult now there's fun stuff we can do with it now that she's a little bit older and there's also all of the extra Island Living um, events and stuff that I've not managed to do yet such of the ancestors such of the ancestors ones which i think we'll try and do more with our mermaid posse so i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you in another episode thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>